This is Will Cooper of Cigar Coop here for the Smoking Syndicate. And today we're going to take a look at a cigar from Blackbird Cigar called the Macaw. And it's a limited edition cigar that's been released by uh, Blackbird Cigar. And it's just recently hit the shelves. Now, we're going to kind of take a unique way of looking at this cigar in that the folks from Blackbird Cigar have been kind enough to send uh, us a sample. And it's kind of a unique way they're going to have us go through this. So why don't we take a look at this and uh, see what we have? Okay, we're back here. And um, you can see I have a box here that was sent from the folks at Blackbird Cigar. Kind of a unique box. Um, you know, I guess these are kind of in the notion of these um, what we call unboxing videos. And I guess, uh, you know, we, we spared you the uh, part about cutting open the carton. So we got right to what, what they sent here. Kind of a cool box in that there's a little feather that was uh, put in here. Um, you can see the feather. There's actually another little feather. So, you know, they have a bird theme going here. So we'll kind of look at that right now. Um, so let's kind of pop open the box and see what's happening. And, and this box is actually, you can see it's been sealed. So I have not opened this thing yet. So I don't know what to expect as far. I have a little bit of an idea what to expect just because there were some instructions. But in terms of the specifics, I'm going to tell you I have no idea. So we're going to get this open here. And then, of course, I have no tools here to go do this, right? You, you'd think I'd be a little more prepared. But uh, let's kind of get into that. And there we go. And uh, Hopefully you can see a little bit. Um, and in here, there's a uh, there's a uh, Vista on here with a QR code. And uh, we're gonna like, uh, I know that QR code is gonna be pretty important right now. Um, and there also is uh, in the box, there is uh, some more information on this cigar, um, which we'll kind of get into. And then we actually have uh, the cigars stored in here. They kind of came in this little chocolate bar thing. Um, so you can see the little, like, it's kind of a little bit of a, I guess it's like a candy bar for all practical purposes that we'll do. Um, and uh, this is, you know, so why don't we kind of first, let's, let's do and do, let's kind of get right into this QR code thing. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see how we're going to do this. Um, so you can see here that there, it's a little hard to see on the video, but maybe I can make it out by angling it. There is a QR code. And it's the idea is if I scan this in, there's going to be something that comes up that's going to be kind of cool here. Um, what I'm going to do for the purposes of this video, um, and you can see I got a lot of feathers here. Uh, I'm going to actually use an iPad. I'm gonna, hopefully you're going to be able to see what happens with the iPad. I don't know what's going to come up when I scan this with the iPad. Um, I did know ahead of time there was an app I had to download, so it should work with the app uh we'll, we'll find this out momentarily for sure on there um if that works so um let me kind of go ahead and uh pop uh pop the ipad here and we'll see what happens welcome back uh what i've done here is i've removed the vista from the uh sample of box that was sent to me uh this works from from just doing a little prep for this it works much better on a flat surface to scan this um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to use an iPad to do the actual, uh, the actual, um, scanning with. So, and what we're going to do is we'll film the iPad, um, with a camera so you can kind of get a feel for this. So what I'm going to do is the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the app that came with this. And just for some time purposes, um, I've actually got the app here and, uh, what we'll do is we will go in and uh, we will scan the QR code. So the QR code is on here. Uh, a little hard to see with some of the lighting here, but um, there is a QR code. Um, and I'll hit the scan QR code button. And uh, you can see this QR code a little better now. And that's loading up the app right now. Um, so the next step is there's this secondary scanning of the app. Um, and you can see here, it's kind of generating out these geometrical sphere things and um we're just gonna kind of go ahead and let that thing do its thing right now um what's gonna happen here this is a 3d app so we're gonna see a 3d object um come and now it's kind of asking me to place this thing um now it's asking me to place it by the ground so i'm just gonna kind of move this towards the ground here and um there's a place button which you can see right in the lower part of the screen here. And I'm gonna hit that. And if you can see, there's this beautiful bird that is starting to flap its wings in 3D right now. 
So you can see that. Um, there's a good view of it. Now you could do things with this bird, from what I understand. You could you could kind of I guess move him around or or fly him. Um, I'm gonna try to get it so the camera can see it a little better. But uh, it's, it's a little tricky. But there we go. You can see a little bit of the bird um, moving around. You can see my chair there and things like that. But he's flapping his wings. And I guess there's all sorts of cool things that you could do with this bird. Which is really cool. He's got a little necklace. If you kind of look at the head of the bird, um, it's got a pair of sunglasses on. You can see it's actually, if you look at it, it goes to some of the, uh, the feet view. It goes to different views as you kind of move this thing around here. Um, and, and like I said, you could kind of practice along with this. Um, by no means am I an expert at this. Uh, but it is a cool little thing that you get uh, with, with the cigars. Now, the QR code that's in the Vista here comes in the packaging when you get a box of the cigars. So the idea is you could get that, scan it, and you can kind of play with the macaw bird here uh, in all its glory there and, and see it. Um, but there's some of those sunglasses I talked about too. So pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our attention back to the cigars. We'll take a look at the McCall cigar from Blackbird Cigar, and we'll see, uh, see what we can find out, um, more about that. And welcome back here. Uh, so we're getting ready to smoke the McCall cigar. Um, I'm going to tell you a little about this cigar, describe the cigar and how it looks right now. Um, so for starters, you can see here, this is a, uh, it's a box press Gordo uh, measuring five and one ace by 58 ring gauge. So it's a nice beefy ring gauge that you're getting here on that cigar. Um, it's finished with a cinnamon bun swirl cap on there. Uh, the box press itself, I'd say is a soft press. If you look at that, it's it's more of a soft Cuban style press that's on there, uh, and the footer's partially covered, if not also there's there's leaf covering the footer on here. Um, as far as the uh, the band of the cigar goes, um, it's got the colors of uh, the Macaw, so it's got those bright colors on there, the blues, the yellows, the reds that the Macaw is kind of uh, synonymous with. So beautiful style band there. I uh, got to give some credit there. And then kind of flipping this over, uh, you get another QR code, which I assume will work with the, um, I haven't tried it yet, but I assume it will work when you scan that in there as well. Uh, so pretty nice looking cigar. As I mentioned, this is a limited edition cigar that we're talking about here. Um, and from what I uh, know about the blend, the blend is a Brazilian wrapper. Uh, it's got an Indonesian Sumatra binder. And it's got fillers from the Dominican Republic, as well as Pennsylvania there. And from what I understand, there's different Dominican tobaccos in there. Um, it's a limited edition cigar. It's Blackbird's first limited edition cigar. 500 boxes of 14 cigars. So definitely pretty limited right now. And from, I guess, what talking with Blackbird has said about this cigar is it's kind of got elements of their core lines, yet it's a little different than their core lines here. So I'm pretty excited to get started smoking this cigar. So what we'll do is we'll flip the camera over uh, and then um, we'll kind of get into this whole thing here as far as uh, smoking the macaw goes. Okay, welcome back here, uh, back on the beach here, so to speak. Uh, getting ready to uh, smoke my Blackbird Limited Edition Macaw Cigar. Uh, so we just kind of... Um, we went through a bunch of the stuff around the packaging and kind of some of the unique stuff they're doing with, with the QR code. Now we're going to get into the actual smoking experience now that I'm pretty excited about. So uh, I've already gone and cut, cut the cigar. I put, a, I put a straight cut through on this cigar. I normally don't uh, pull the pigtail off. I usually will make a straight cut cutting the pigtail and the cap simultaneously. So now I'm just about ready to kind of toast this up. But let me give it a little pre-light draw first. Kind of, and the pre light draw really is to kind of get a little preview, maybe what to expect with the cigar before actually uh, starting to burn the leaves on this, so to speak. All right, so I got to use the cliche. There's a little bit of leather note. I know people love leather notes, right? They love it's a note when we kind of do cigar reviews, I think gets most made fun of. But I'm getting this kind of leathery note. 
I'm getting a little bit of natural tobacco and sweet cedar on this thing as well. It's soft, there's kind of a little creaminess as I kind of touch this cigar uh, to the tongue on the dry drawer. No heavy spice or, or syrupy flavor or anything like that. So it's kind of good tobacco flavor I'm getting off this cigar, which that's a good start right away. Because I, I normally don't like when I get that syrupy taste. Certainly, I don't like a sweetened cap. Um, and uh, certainly, I don't like just like pepper on it. But this is nice. This has got a tobacco feel to it. Um, it, it it's tasting like it's good tobacco. So I feel like once I, I start putting fire to this thing, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be pretty pleased. So let's kind of go ahead and do that. And uh, I should mention, uh, I think I mentioned, like I said, the cigar had a, uh, a, a cinnamon swirl top as well as the covered footer. So let's kind of go. We'll start toasting that up. I'll say this as uh, as I'm toasting this. Normally, uh, you know, I hate people who there are a lot of people who don't like big ring gauge cigars. I like a big ring gauge cigar. Um, a 58 ring gauge is great. You put it into a nice press, it kind of condenses it a little, so it doesn't feel like you're smoking a 50, 58. But I like a big ring gauge cigar. Um, I love getting the most out of every tobacco in there, and uh, I, you know, I've heard the argument that you know, well, you get more wrapper on a small ring gauge cigar. But as far as a big ring gauge cigar, I get more of the tobaccos kind of playing a role in there. And I think, you know, there's always very good tobaccos that go into these blends. So um, that's why I'm pretty excited about this. Definitely some nice earthy notes coming right out on this thing to begin with. Uh, a little bit of that tobacco note. Not so much of the leather, but there's definitely a smoothness to this. Not much in the way of spice. So good news is it's not hitting me with a pepper blast or anything like that. Uh, but it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of very smooth to start out with. First. Some of those natural tobacco flavors, uh, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of cedar. A little bit of cedar coming through on the retro hail right now. Starting off very nice. Starting off really nice and balanced. I'd say it's starting out in the medium range right now. And, you know, um, you know, Blackbird Cigars, they have a bunch of core lines and some of the core lines, you know, they have bird names on that. So the Macaw certainly was one they picked for their limited edition here. And, you know, it's kind of, um, I think it was a cool pick because, you know, again, a nice, bright, vibrant bird. And I think with a limited edition, you always want your limited editions to feel special and not just, you know, not just like anything. So I think certainly when you put together a good blend and, it, and for all indications, this is starting out really good. Uh, kind of put some of that vibrant packaging on that, I think is, is really cool. You know, and like I said, the whole experience with the, with the three, we're seeing a lot of companies right now in the cigar industry start to start to do a little of the uh the technology thing uh, qr codes embedded chips so we're going to be seeing a lot more of these this was a little more creative like i said this was just not taking me to a website it took me to a bird and you could do some things with that bird i guess uh virtually which is pretty cool um so i look forward to playing with that a lot more um you may see i'm working the drawer a bit okay um this is a positive in my book, right? Because I do not care for a drawer that is very loose on a, particularly on a box press. 
Um, so I like what my colleague Ben Lee has kind of put in my head, the term, the milkshake drawer. I kind of have to, you know, kind of work it a bit, but I'm certainly not like this is not plugged and certainly not getting uh, any problems with getting flavor. That's for sure. But I kind of like that milkshake drawer, particularly on the box press cigars, because sometimes the box press cigars, they're too airy. They're too loose. And uh, they don't satisfy me because of that. Definitely uh, getting some of that cedar note. <clears throat> Again, the, the rich earth and tobacco notes as well, which is underlying creaminess. A little pepper now starting as the cigar is starting to open up a bit. A little of the pepper kind of starting to get in there. Not a heavy pepper. Like I said, on the retro hell, I'm saying uh, it's getting in there. Uh, with a little bit of cedar mixed in. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to get into this cigar a bit and then we'll come back and check in as we get a little further into the first third. And we're back here. Uh, I am starting to get into my macaw, um, getting into the first third. I still have the, well, I'm getting close to the band. So probably when I come back the second time, the band will be off the cigar. Uh, it's uh, smoking very good. Great combustion. It, uh, it's starting to open up a little more as far as the flavor profile goes. Uh, and if my ash, the ash is really a nice firm ash, except when you uh, ash your hand, which I did right before I restarted the video. So a little bit of the ash kind of clumped off there. But for the most part, it's a, it's a good ash. The combustion is very good on this cigar. Uh, the flavors have opened up. So I'm definitely getting those rich, creamy earth flavors. I'm definitely getting that natural tobacco flavor. There's a bit of cedar in here. Uh, a slight pepper note and the cedar and the pepper you're getting also on the retro hail, not overpowering. Uh, the natural tobacco, I think, is where the sweetness is coming from on this. So a good balance, not overly sweet, not overly spiced right in my wheelhouse on this medium strains, medium body right now. And you can see it's the draw a little bit of that milkshake draw that, like I said, I borrowed that term from Ben as far as that goes, uh, but that's exactly what I'm getting off this, which again is, is a, a, a plus on, uh, in terms of me reviewing a cigar, especially on a box press. And like I said, by no means am I struggling with the, with the flavors on this. So uh, really, really good cigar. Uh, I'm, I'm, this, is, this is, I believe my first experience uh, with a Blackbird cigar that I can, I can remember. Uh, and I, I'm getting a very favorable impression here. This is a, an extremely good cigar. So, um, in addition to all the fun stuff we talked about with the packaging, ultimately, you know what, you're going to want to smoke a cigar that's enjoyable, uh, that's approachable. And certainly this cigar is, is fitting the bill with this, the McCall right now. So, um, mm, very good, very good cigar. Um, very good cigar. Um, it's relaxing me even more than the waves and the palm trees behind me are. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple more puffs. We'll kind of come back in a few minutes and we'll see where things stand. Back on the beach here, uh, Will Cooper and I'm smoking the Blackbird, uh, McCall. Um, and, um, uh, enjoying this cigar a lot um the band's off the cigar now so i got the band here um and actually on the break i actually did play with the qr code on here and i'll just say it's actually pretty easy it actually seems a little easier to scan the qr code on the band than on the vista uh so certainly i guess whatever your dexterity is as far as uh doing those scans go you can go ahead and do that but uh you also have that on the box the vista the box as well so certainly uh, something, you know, to take advantage of. And we showed that earlier, the uh, 3D uh, macaw uh, bird that came up that you can do all sorts of fun things with right now. Uh, but as far as the cigar goes, uh, really opened up right now. The sweetness is definitely intensifying a bit. Um, so I give the sweetness a little more of an edge on this, on the, on this pepper. The sweetness is coming from the natural tobacco. There's kind of like, I, I guess it's a dried fruit note I'm kind of getting on this. Um, kind of can't really pin what type of a dried fruit it's not really a citrus 
Maybe it's a little more of a, of a nectarine type of flavor. I think that's the best one I could do it. I hate kind of going into left field with a flavor, but there is a definite unique dried fruit thing, maybe more like a dried nectarine I'm getting on this, uh, on that. I guess that's the, you know, we try to do analogies here on this to give you a feel for it, but the, there's a definite richness to the tobacco flavor and these earthy notes that I'm getting on this right now, which is really good. Also, uh, I, I mentioned the flavors are intensifying. So the body of this cigar, like in the first third, was what I'd say medium. But as I'm kind of getting into the second third right now, the body's moved up. It's I'd say getting into that medium to full range for sure. The strength level is still medium. So this is not going to intensify you with nicotine, but that um that flavor is getting into that medium to full, which is, is approaching what I call the boldness territory on here. But certainly not sacrificing anything along the way. It's it's a it's a very, very good cigar. Um and, and I keep mentioning I'm I'm enjoying it. It's, it's uh Burn has been great. Uh, draw has been, like I said, fantastic. I've talked about the milkshake draw. Uh, and like I said, it's starting to get a little more complex right now. So uh, as I'm sitting here kind of uh, enjoying this on the virtual beach here, uh, the good thing is I don't have the wind blowing on me, but I could just definitely uh, really kind of get a good uh, experience smoking this cigar. So, so far, thumbs up on this cigar. Uh, I know Bear Duplissy, my colleague says thumbs up is not a score. But uh, I'm kind of just assessing the overall experience. And so far, it's a thumbs up right now. So uh, let's kind of get back to it a little bit. And we'll see where things stand. Welcome back. Uh, continuing uh, to smoke the uh, Blackbird McCall. Um, this is a limited edition cigar we've been talking about all um, on this video. And cigar is now a little more past the, the midway point. Combustion is still good. I'm definitely getting a little more of the cedar notes now coming into, into play here. So uh, there's definitely more of a cedar uh, taste. Some of the sweetness is beginning to, to kind of die down a bit. So some of that nectarine cedar that I've gotten late in the first third and into the second third or early parts, it's starting to fade. The cedar notes becoming a little more prevalent right now. Uh, definitely making its way into maybe potentially being a primary flavor of this cigar right now. Um, I, you know, so it, it's moving along. Um, I would say I enjoyed the first third a little more, that first half. And now when it's coming into the second half, uh, it's taking a turn. I wouldn't say it's in the direction I'd want it to take in. Uh, but this is still, like I said, a very good cigar, so to speak. I kind of really loved what the first half of the cigar was delivering. So it's not so matter that the second half is uh, the second half bad. It's just it's not as good as the first half is what I'll just say in the easiest form of that. But definitely still something that's keeping my attention and my interest here. Uh, medium strength, medium to foam body. So it's continuing along that path. Burn is excellent. The draw is excellent. Um, so no problems as far as that goes. Really good construction there. Uh, but that body continues to build up. Um, so it's still moving through, I think, the medium to full range of the spectrum. And I think eventually it's going to start hitting. It could, this could start potentially hitting full body by the last third. We'll, we'll see how it goes right now. But like I said, some of the sweetness has definitely gone down a bit. Uh, and the cedar notes becoming a little more prevalent right now during this, this stage right now. Still a lot of the natural tobacco flavors are, are grounded as the primary flavor, though, I'd say with this. Just some of that sweetness is kind of, um, like I said, starting to kind of go down a bit. So we'll continue to talk about this cigar. And uh, we'll check as we kind of get towards the final third. Okay, uh, we're heading into the final part of this cigar, heading into the uh, home stretch here. Um, so it's kind of interesting because I mentioned there was kind of an increase in the cedar notes uh, when I was just past that midway point. And the nat but I said the natural tobacco was kind of um, maybe starting to diminish a bit. It's that natural tobacco has definitely come back up again. Um, it's not as sweet a natural tobacco as I was getting in the first half of this cigar, but it's definitely that more of that natural tobacco that you're going to get, um, which is a good, good flavor. Um, and I think it's kind of countering some of that cedar, which maybe there was a point where I wasn't as pleased with, with having a little more of that cedar. But overall, I think this cigar is, is still performing really well. Um, and I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like the direction it's kind of heading into the final third with this right now. 
Um, again, it's kind of whole now it's kind of holding with that medium strength, medium to full body. Um, combustion burn fantastic on this cigar. Uh, really, I have a little bit of air blowing down here. Not that's not the wind back there, but I have a little air blowing. So, you know, that sometimes does affect the burn, but it's not really affecting this burn. I, I really like how this box press was, uh, was, um, cause you know, made, uh, it's a very good cigar. Um, I'm, pr I'm very impressed with this. It's, uh, it's a little different than your traditional, um, limited edition. It's not cookie cutter, so to speak. I kind of really like that it's bringing uh, something unique to the uh, to this uh, to the table, which is really good. Uh, you know, you're definitely feeling the Brazilian wrapper with some of the, you know, as well because there's a lot of earthiness that I'm getting as well with this cigar. Uh, the peppers increased a bit more, a little more a pepper that's on the retro as well, a little more cedar coming in on the retro as well. Uh, like I said, decent amount of flavor nuances and transitions. The transitions are a little more subtle with this cigar along the way, but nonetheless, um, like I said, good, really good cigar. Um, definitely heading, uh, heading in the right direction as, as we kind of go into the home stretch here. So we'll come back one more time to wrap this up and um, we'll see how the cigar uh, comes in for uh, a close. Okay, we're uh, at the close of the uh, Blackbird Macaw, and uh, the final third has seen a, there's definitely more of a peppery uh, black pepper now. Not that, sh it's not a sharp black pepper, but there's a black pepper note. Uh, there's definitely more in the way of earthy notes as this is coming to the close. I think some of the natural tobacco and those cedar notes are getting eclipsed by those, that earth and pepper at this point. Um, it's uh, you know, like I said, it's it's not um, it's not overly spicy. The sweetness, most of the sweetness has faded at this point, so it's not quite as balanced as it was in the first half. But um, you know, as I come to the close of the cigar, um, the nub on the cigar is fantastic, right? It's nice. It's a it's a firm nub. Um, it's cool in temperature, which I, so I love the way it's kind of finishing up. Uh, like I said, there's pepper and earth, but no harshness on it by any means. Uh, the cigars showed a lot of complexity. It had some transitions and flavor nuances in this cigar. Um, overall, this this is a this is a, this is a very good cigar. I'm very I'm very pleased with this cigar. It's a cigar I would buy again. It's a cigar I'd smoke again. Um, it's a cigar I'm curious to see how it ages with time. Uh, but it's certainly absolutely ready out of the gate to smoke now. Um, and you know this gets a buy recommendation from me. So. Um, I've enjoyed this. This was kind of a fun experience with some of the, the QR code stuff. Uh, I look forward to kind of playing around with that some more. I encourage folks to do that. Um, you know, if you're going to go get the cigar, the nice thing is the QR code is on the band. Let's see if I can get that in there. The QR code is on the band. Oh, uh, there we go. It's on the band, so you can certainly play with that. Uh, but the box, certainly, uh, you know, if, you, if a box is in your, in your wheelhouse, and go buy a box of them. You can play with that as well. Uh, impressive offering by Blackbird Cigar. Uh, I want to thank Blackbird Cigar for providing this cigar. Um, encourage folks again to check it out, smoke it, enjoy it. Um, I think I think you'll be pleased and let, let me know what some of your feedback is. Anyway, this is Will Cooper for Cigar Coop and the Smoking Syndicate signing off. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have more, more of these coming in the future. Take care.